Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you guys want to find out how I got this flawless glue-like install with no glue, be sure to stick around. So the hair I'll be using today is from West Kiss. It's a kinky curly hair. It's a lace front as well, 13 by four, lace in the front. And this hair is really beautiful, you guys. I believe it's 22 inches. I'll leave all the details down below so you can click the link and check it out for yourselves as well. But this is what the hair looks like so far. It comes with um, combs already inside the wig and it has an elastic band in the box so you can sew it in if you would like to. So I am back. I went ahead, bleached the front. Now, I don't know, my bleach, it was just not strong. So I bleached this for like an hour and it didn't even take out all the knots, but it's still fine. I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze it anyway. So as you can see, between my eyebrow and my hairline, there isn't a lot of space. So I always have to bring, like you'll, I don't wanna glue the wig in my hair. I gotta bring my wig like all the way down, right? So because of that, I'm actually going to end up cutting this lace like through here and getting rid of all of this. Yeah. So anyways, let me be back after I tweeze this frontal a little bit and cut the lace off. BRB. So I have added my um, elastic band. I'm trying to make it clear for you guys. So I always put it like half and half on the um, actual wig cap and then on the lace. So if you ever feel confused about where's a good place to actually place your elastic band, right here always seems to do the trick for me. There she goes. So part one complete. Now I'm gonna cut my lace off. Um, with this method, it doesn't really matter if you cut the lace before or after gluing it, but I'm gonna do it before because as I said, it doesn't really make a difference. So when you're cutting your lace, you want to do a zigzag pattern. So down and up, down and up, down and up. So I'm gonna do this off camera because it's a lot easier and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back from cutting my lace in a zigzaggy pattern. It looks a little bit crazy right now, but it will be fine. Also, the lace is transparent, so I'm going to need to use more of my darker foundation to help it blend with my forehead. So I just got some right here, and I'm gonna put it on the lace. I guess you could do this after, you know, um, you glue it as well. Look at that but it'll be easier to tell where you need to add more once you have actually glued the wig down. It's going down. Now my favorite part, I'm gonna be gluing the wig to my head and I'm gonna be using Gots To Be, but not just Gots To Be. I'm gonna be using a combination. Yes, so I've been using this for a little while now and I love it, it's so great. It actually does a really amazing job. It's easy to take off, it's water soluble. You can just rinse it out with some water and put your wig back on, glue it back on with this. It's not crazy expensive, you know? So I'm gonna be using this today. And the other great part is because it's water soluble, if it gets in my own hair, like my own hairline, I just wipe it away with some water. The glue, sometimes it can, you know, touch the very, you know, edges of your hairline, which is going to be a problem, trying to take it out, you know, applying um, pressure and pulling, like just trying to work it out. It can be like really, really stressy, stressy. It can be very stressful on your hairline. So I want to mix some of this and some of this together. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to actually do it directly to my forehead because it's just, it's just so easy. Okay. So I have my wig cap where I want it to be. Now I'm going to add the hairspray to my, actually no, I'm gonna start with the um, gel. So this is what I do. I just put some gel across my forehead. The great thing is you do not have to be super specific because um, you can just clean up whatever excess you have on your head 
with some water. Just so easy. Okay. And then my air spray. And just give it a little, you know what I mean? Just mix it in a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Okay. I have some excess, so I'll just put it on my wig cap. So I definitely have too much hair. I can wipe it off when it's all dry. No problem. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy elastic that came with my wig. I'm gonna put it over my head like this. All right. Now we wait. So it's been about 10 minutes, so it's time for the moment of truth. So let me take off my headband. Okay, not bad at all. This part is a little bit white, so I'm gonna take my foundation, you guys can see that, right? And just dab it in there, just to make it super invisible. I'm actually gonna cut this little piece off. I don't need that. So this is not like a super permanent solution. This is like, you know, you're going to an event, a wedding, or something of that nature, and you just wanna have a lace front for the day, and you can't be bothered with finicky glue, right? Glue can be very, very finicky. So this is a great, like, you know, one and done type of um, style. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Now that the wig is nicely glued down, looking good, looking good. Oh, it's really good. I'm loving it. Loving it. So I'm actually going to wet my hairs to revive my curls okay so because i've been kind of playing in the hair tweezing it and all that the curls have become not as defined so i'm just gonna kind of bring them back with some water here So I'm pretty much finished wetting the whole thing and I do have to testify. This hair feels really good. Like I am actually a little bit surprised that I'm able to easily do this. Not all curly hair can do that. Like I'm actually pleasantly surprised that I'm able to just do this like with, with ease. Wow, it's great. And see how strong this glue is? Now, obviously, if you pull it, like, you know what I mean? But I'm able to comb through my curls with this gel concoction, right? It's not even, you know, glue, glue, and it's still, it's still pretty strong, right? Still pretty strong for not being like real glue. So it is honestly a lifesaver for people who are new to wigs or who don't wanna commit to like, you know, gluing their whole forehead. I'm really loving this hair, you guys. I'm actually, I just want to tell you that. I was supposed to do my makeup, but I just want to tell you guys, like this is easy. Yeah. Okay, so that was pretty much all I wanted to say. So um, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Ta-da! I know, right? I'm all done. I just did a really quick like, um, oh my gosh. I did a really quick um, makeup look, um, you know, natural. I don't even have eyelashes. I don't have eyelash glue, so I've been lashless for months now. It's a bit crazy. But um, do, I, do you feel like I need the lashes? Also, I just wanna comment that my eyebrows, they're micro shaded and I didn't do anything to them, which is amazing. But back to the hair though, I haven't had like soft, luscious curls in a very, very long time. Well, this wig is actually 200 density. I think I mentioned that in the beginning. So it's very, very full. It's drying beautifully. 
It's drying beautifully. Normally when Curlubix dry, they get really like frizzy and really, really big, but it's not doing that. I did add a little bit of this gel. I mix it with water, rubbed it in my hands, and just kind of ran it through with my fingers, but you know, still, it's drying so wonderfully, guys. I'm really loving how soft these curls are. I can't, I can't, I cannot continue to tell you how much I'm loving this curly wig. And my glue job is amazing. Like, this wig isn't going anywhere for a long time. And in the morning, if it gets a little crusty, I just add a little bit of water to, um, you know, um, get rid of the crust and kind of melt it back. And you can add a little bit more of your concoction if you want to glue it down like nice and solid again. But I don't know, you guys. I, I'm loving this wig. West Kiss, amazing. So make sure you click the link in the description box. And I also have a coupon code right here for you guys. So you can use it to make a purchase on their website and save some dollars. All right, you all. So thanks for watching this video. I hope I taught you guys something you can use, something useful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe, comment below, and leave a thumbs up. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys next time, all right?